Chateau Louis XVI. A mega mansion outside Paris named after the 17th century French king has broken the record for the world's most expensive home after it reportedly sold for more than $300 million. According to Bloomberg, it was sold to a Middle Eastern buyer. One fact was missing – the identity of that buyer. Now, it turns out that the paper trail leads to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, heir to the Saudi throne and the driving force behind a series of bold policies transforming Saudi Arabia. The 2015 purchase appears to be one of several extravagant acquisitions, including a $500 million yacht called Serene and the famous purchase of $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting Salvatore Mundi by a prince who is leading a sweeping crackdown on corruption and self-enrichment by the Saudi elite and preaching fiscal austerity at home. At a glance, the 54,000-square-foot chateau that serves as the centerpiece of the 57-acre property might look like something out of 1800s France, but actually it was built from the ground up in 2011. The mansion is built in the style of a 17th century palace. Gold-plated water fountains and marble statues outside, grand staircases and elaborate chandeliers inside. The goal in the mansion's design was to combine the look of an authentic Versailles-era castle with all the modern conveniences, like a system that lets users control the mansion's many devices, fountains, lights and thermostat with a smartphone. The mansion also boasts a home movie theater, a wine cellar, a squash court, two ballrooms, two swimming pools, one indoor and one outdoor, and even an underground nightclub. It even has authentic historical touches like a moat, although no 17th century moat ever had an underwater meditation room with fish swimming around and above visitors' heads. 17th century French castles were known for their lush, expansive gardens, and the grounds surrounding Chateau Louis XVI are undoubtedly in keeping with this tradition. Colourful flower beds, topiary sculptures and immaculate box hedges abound across the outdoor garden space, and there's even a labyrinth as well as a small and fully functional farm and vegetable garden. The gardens have been designed in homage to Le Notre, the royal gardener under Louis XVI, and feature a gold leaf fountain. Imad Kashoggi, the luxury developer behind the project, said, It took three years to build the mansion using 17th century techniques and materials alongside specialist 21st century craftsmen, including sculptors, mosaic artists and coppersmiths. A workforce of 200 from living heritage companies, the finished residence respects the heritage aesthetics and spirit of a region and a country while celebrating the true essence of modern luxury living.